is it because they're being promised something? All I know is that these folks get put on buses directly at the Darien border and taken to Costa Rica where they get taken on buses as well and go straight north. Somehow they end up in Mexico and get on a train to the border. Something's not right. And why do they go straight through a beautiful country like Panama that has massive job opportunities, but all they care about is going north? Hmm. Why are so many of these immigrants who are coming into the United States young men? Where are the women? Where are the children? Where are the older folks? Why is it men between the ages of 17 and 25? It's quite odd. It really makes me think why my country would allow such a thing. Why the Biden administration has the gates open and letting everyone move in. Does that make you question? Seriously, why? Have you seen the massive amount of people in New York City and Chicago and other big cities who are living on the streets because they have nowhere to go? And these people are all coming in from Venezuela, Colombia, South America, Africa, and the Middle East. Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna do? Where are they gonna do for work? This is the typical case of grass is greener on the other side. If you know what I'm talking about, you know that these people think that if they move to the United States that their life is gonna get better. As an American, let me tell you, it's not. That this is causing a massive ecological disaster in the Darien and it's causing a massive problem on the borders of the United States. We met a young man while we were in Toronto last week, and he was our Uber driver, and he was from Colombia. And I asked him how he came to Panama. He came through the Darien Gap. We asked uh, our maid at the Marriott Hotel in Niagara Falls. I could tell she spoke Spanish, we asked her. She came through the Darien Gap, and now she's working as a maid. But there's one thing they both had in common. They can barely afford to live in Canada. They have to live in houses with multiple people, five, 10, 15 people. I guess that's okay if that's what you really want, but if that's, was that what your life was like when you were back in uh, Venezuela or Colombia? I just don't understand. I don't know what to do about it, but all I know is that America and Canada, you guys need to step up, the people of America and Canada, not the, not the governments, because the governments have failed you. What you guys need to do is fight for it yourselves and, and stop this craziness. Because something weird's going on. Cheers from Panama.